now you can hear me. All right. We good? Hello, TMTVL and Christophers. Yeah, Christophers, last time we tried this, it crashed. I've installed, I've installed the far mod as people suggested. And, um, can you hear me all right? I can't help me. Yeah, it says the volume levels are good. Um, yeah, it crashed last time. The far mod, I don't know, everybody says it helps. I don't know. We'll see. But this means we're starting over. So we're just going to pretend that whole thing didn't happen yesterday. Uh, for those of you who didn't see the stream yesterday, this I, I went into this game not really knowing what I was going to get. So when we get to this intro sequence that was like a twin... I just thought it was like a JRPG with some action combat. So when we get to this twin stick shooter section, I was pretty weirded out. It's not that it was bad, it's just not what I was expecting. <laughs> That's right, Nikasaurus. If it crashes again, I can just play more GTA. I think... I think I should rename my GTA casts to Men Without Hats. This is definitely a weird game. That should not be taken as a bad thing, but it's a weird game. It's just, it's just, this person didn't sit down and, to make a game. This team didn't sit down and say, we should make a game like those other games. We should make a game with those other, like those other games, except with a twist. This is like, no, let's just make our own completely different weird thing. I mean, there's still quests and side quests and leveling up and stuff, but there's a lot of different ideas in this game. But yeah, we gotta shoot these, these things down again today. Yeah, the weirdness is a charming point. I, I would agree with that, Christophers. The thing about the weirdness is it means you don't know what to expect. You can't say, oh, it's about the time in the game for this to happen. Or it's about time for this to happen. Because I know I've played enough games to know how these things go. I really like this transforming robot. I said this yesterday. I wish you could get into it and like use it in the open world in just even in certain regions designed for it but you can only sort of do this in the designated shooting sections and this would be cool if you could get in and out of it oh you suck why didn't you hit the dodge button the robot I agree, Florian. It's very polite of the laser to telegraph its attack, which sort of makes it inexcusable that the rest of my team didn't get out of its way. I don't know what they thought was going to happen.
and suddenly we're playing him and suddenly we're playing Return of the Jedi if anybody remembers that arcade game the one thing I don't like about this game is the auto leveling enemies when you ding level 20 everybody else in the world dings level 20 and I do not like that I've never I mean a lot of games do that but it just always bugs me Yeah, Christoffers, I always felt underleveled when I was playing through this game because it's like everything's two levels above you, actually. And I'm like, oh man, I need to level up some more. I'm, I'm evidently not getting enough XP. So you level up some more and so does everybody else. And I'm like, so what are these level numbers for then? Are they? Well, during my first playthrough. I've only finished my first playthrough and I'm like a couple hours into my second. And, uh, but near the near the end of my first playthrough, I was still, you know, I'd get near the starting area and you know, there would be the, the robots that used to be low level nothings would be my level or my level plus two. Oh, candy. Also, like I said yesterday, um, I played through this game the first time on easy. I kind of forgot that I'd put it on easy. And uh, so I kind of learned a bunch of bad habits, and so I, I learned how to play this game wrong. Oh. Specifically, I got really used to having auto fire on. There's a on easy it changes the mechanics and you can equip things to automate things for you you can have auto attack which your character will automatically attack if you get near somebody auto dodge which makes you almost invulnerable because every time an attack is going to land you'll just no matter what you're doing you'll automatically dodge oh no oh. and i uh, and then auto fire and the whole thing just sort of makes it so that all you would need to do is just walk around and the game would play itself. That's definitely a weird idea. I didn't do all that, but I definitely had auto fire on for most of the game. And when I came back later and started playing on normal difficulty, I really missed that one. There, that's what I think your giant robot. Hard adds no lock on. Hey there, Lieutenant Alenko. No. Oh no. I got it this time. Yeah, the auto heal, that's the other thing I really got used to. 
And yeah, the auto heal is just so powerful. I don't know if you can use auto heal here in um, normal difficulty. there a few more seconds stay on target ちゃんと死んだのを確認しないと危ないですよ さんですね Okay, there's nines. So this is our, and this is our whole, when you go in thinking this is a JRPG, you're like, ah, the first member of my party. Which is true, he's the first additional member of your two-person party. So, that's hilarious. I got a few hours into the game and I'm like, it's about time for me to meet the rest of the team. No. Um, where am I going? Oh, right, right, right. You know, you'd think having played through this before I'd, you know, remember things that I did previously. Yeah, the soundtrack for this game is fantastic. Thank you for the firing tutorial. After I already shot a boss to death weirdo game. Oh, more robot candy. You can make that bridge fall on you and die? That's amazing. Oh, that was not the correct way to handle that situation. Screw it. I'll just tank the damage. Dodging is too much hassle. Those enemy projectiles do look out of place. And yeah, that they stand out, but I don't need know that they needed to look like that. Well. That was near automata, everybody. The far uh the far whatever you call that package did not fix this problem. Which is the game randomly just stops. Please tell me the stream is still working. Yeah. It, the weird thing is, like you can hear, I'm, I'm like navigating the menu. The game is still functioning. It, I could, you know, we could just play blind. You can hear cutscenes, people keep talking, but the rendering just stops and you get stuck at one frame forever. This has happened a lot of happened to me a lot of times. So, and we didn't even get to the first save point, which means if I wanted to try again, we would again have to play through the entire first section. So I think we are done with Nier. I just don't want to have any more failed streams. Did this happen? This happened several times on my first trip through the game. Yeah. Yeah, it happened several times. 
it happens regularly every couple of hours, although it really, I mean, both times, 15 minutes into the stream, the game killed itself at almost exactly the same point, within a couple of minutes of each other. San Andreas. Performing first time setup for GTA 5. Sure. Sure, because this is the first time I've run this game that I've clocked 370 hours in. <sighs> Go ahead, take your time, computer. It's just the internet is waiting. I could have gone to title screen to get through all this stuff and like got myself more tea. I don't need more tea, but this is lukewarm. Yeah, I got uh, near automata half off. I guess while we wait for this load screen, I thought the structure of Near Automata was really weird. Because again, I went in expecting, hey, this is a JRPG. I'm going to have a big bunch of people. I'm going to have a big party. And we're going to defeat the, the great evil in the world or change the world or do something cataclysmic. And you don't. You just, a couple of new bad, you enter into this war that's been going on for centuries, a new threat emerges, you defeat it, thus returning the world to its stagnant state of this eternal war, which is weird. I mean, that's the, the original ending. I don't know if you get more when you do the other endings, but that's weird because usually the JRPGs I've played are about breaking the world out of some rut that it's stuck in and this game is more about just maintaining the status quo that's that also went against expectations so when i got to the end of the game i was perplexed i was like oh that's that's it that that guy was the main bad guy that guy i don't even care about Yeah, I kind of got the impression that I saw there that there were a bunch of endings, but I don't know if they were just the same crap happens from different perspectives. And like it's it claims there's like all these dozens of endings, but some of the endings are like just kill yourself in some amusing way. And you can reach it, you know, a couple minutes into the story. So what do we want to do today? I have no plans. Usually when I start a stream, I have some kind of plan. Like, oh, we should do this cool thing. Wow. Like LA Hayes. I don't know what LA Hayes looks like because I've never been there, but yeah, this feels like hay like smoggy haze. So let's form a planet. What should we do? Golf, huh? Are you stuck? Is it like tennis where you're trapped into playing it? Or can you do... Sh or can you... Um... Oh, thank you. 
Yeah, we don't want to play in a pint-sized screen like that. That's completely needless. Ugh. Thank you. That was complete. Oh, no. Is that going to work? Can we just do that? Apparently we can. Just hot swap games. Alright. Alright, alright. Watch where you're going, Seamus. So where is the golf course? It's interesting. One car parked here. Now, from what I know about LA, this is probably the most unrealistic site in the entire game is open parking spaces. But I don't know. Maybe different parts of um, LA are different. But I always thought it was impossible to, um... Impossible to park anywhere. Oh, that feels good. That really does. You get that little blast of dopamine when something goes boom. And it's just this little fireworks show just for you that you made. And this, oh, stay away from me. The only bad thing is, as soon as you start to enjoy it and have some fun, these guys show up and try to make you stop. So, the. We better get going. I thought we were near the, um, I thought we were near the subway and I was just going to go into it and I realized, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Excuse me, gentlemen, I am in a bad way. Oh, there we go. Are you trying to test how many bits the murder counter has? I hope it's at least a 16-bit value. Can regular humans fire a minigun like that? I am curious. Although, obviously, Trevor does not qualify as a regular human. So, one of the things we wanted to test out is can we... Can we ride the subway with a wanted level? Let's look where we're going this time so I don't waste all your waste all your time watching me drive around like an idiot. There we go. That's that's the place where we need to be. I'm really disappointed things didn't work out with Near Automata. I had a lot to say about that game. I mean, I'll write about it eventually. But I thought it would be fun to talk about it on stream. We'll f I'll figure out a different game for next week. 
I should have bought some armor just to make sure this works. But whatever. Let's let's expedite this rampage. Yeah. Oh, that feels so good. Animals on the loose, the police say. Said. Huh. So were you just hanging out down on the subway all this time, officer? Just... A, a SWAT... A guy on the SWAT team was what? You took the subway to work this morning? Don't wear hats. How many times have I got to tell you people? Jesus people in this city. Absolutely disgusting. That's good. I was I was worried. To... Yeah, that's a great play. I should have left that guy alive. That guy that was down on the tracks getting cover. I should have left him alive. Just to see if he could get hit by the train. It would work. I mean, I agree. It's clear I haven't really scratched everything that Nier has to say. On the other hand, um, I'm kind of I'm kind of gonna get killed here. You didn't stop, jerk. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of done with its stupid crashing all the time. It took a lot of patience to get through the first time. And my hope was that the FARD mod would fix things up for me. And it did not. So I don't know if I have, like, two more playthroughs in me. It's a good game, but not quite that good. Just waiting for a sub. So, did that subway go through because I was on a rampage and it's like, screw you, I'm not going to stop? Or was it that one just wasn't supposed to stop here? Yeah, Wolfenstein was a disaster for me, too. This cover is not very covering. Just give up. Back at you, buddy. I think their strategy is wait for me to run out of bullets. Okay, here we go. Can we get on this? No. 
So it does not stop when you're on a rampage. Which leaves us without an exit strategy. Um, well, let's try to make this work. Because the only other strategy is to just hike down the tunnel to the next station. So the cops forget about you, but, you know. That is super boring. And not appropriate for streaming. Come on, lady. Well, like, what are you doing down here? Yeah, he's dead. It's true, Christophers. I can't really blame the the pilot or the driver or whatever you call people that make subways go. Um, I'm not faulting him, but I'm saying I wish he had chosen differently. Who are you shooting at? What was going on over there? Oh, man, that was some... Did you see that guy slide? That was some weird AI shenanigans. Huh, this is quite an interesting spot. They don't realize they can't shoot me through this ticket booth. And they try to shoot through this fence. I don't know that I can get out of here, but I don't think they can get in here. There, there's that weird slide again. What's going on there? I, I've never seen the AI do that. I think the AI does definitely not like this particular spot. So let's stay here for a couple more minutes. Let's try a little shotgun. I think maybe these guys are getting bored of dying from machine gun. And they would like to die from shotgun instead. Once I... I don't know how to aim again. There we go. I'm a good person. Oh wow, they, they stopped coming. No, they're not gonna... Oh, there they are. You tell them, Trev. Oh, more free bullets. Look at this. Stay down. Alright, now how do we get up these stairs without dying horribly? Me and my three hit points are just going to take a little nap here. Hi, Triumus. No luck with Nier. Nier crashed too many times on us, and we're done trying to make Nier work. No hats. Oh, I really want that car. Come back, come back, come back. Oh, you suck. So 
So we figured out that no, the the subway stops working, stops being operational when you have a wanted level. You know, have I ever been in this? I've never gone down these steps. That can't be right. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, I'm not gonna open up Twitch. As soon as I load the page, it'll try and play my stream back to me or whatever, and I'll have to mess around in a web window. Let's just, let's just leave it. We'll half-ass it tonight. Since that's what the nearer developers did. I did install FAR, and it helped us not a bit. All far, the only thing the FAR mod accomplished was that it, it was that Open Broadcaster could no longer hook directly into the near window, and I had to play it full screen instead of in a window, which no big deal. But like that's all it did. It didn't make the game any more stable, didn't make it any smoother, and it you know it didn't stop those crashes. Just Cause. Can you believe I've never played Just Cause? Which, given how much I enjoy wandering around in this game and making fireworks, uh, yeah, maybe I'd like Just Cause. perfect for this sort of stream style. The thing is, I didn't intend to do this stream style. I wanted to like, I wanted to like talk about a game and not just dick around for an hour, but apparently Nier didn't want, wasn't into that. All right. So that's fun. And basically never ever gets old. Oh, I kind of feel bad for that guy. Oh, all of this, all of this destruction was one sticky bomb. Oh. That sticky bomb was worth the money. You guys just don't know how to have fun. off the sticky bomb while I was doing my Trevor is magically invulnerable thing so <gasps> and a car what Trevor it's a convertible you idiots you p 
punched through the window of an open convertible. You dingbat. So I wonder if being in a convertible makes it more likely that you'll get shot. Like, does the game actually take into account whether or not a game is open to... Oh, really? Already? We're on the rims already. Did I even get to enjoy those tires for 30 seconds? I don't think so. Close enough. If you've never played this game, I promise there's a lot more to it. There's like cutscenes and other characters in a story, I think. But yeah, it, there's more to this game than just random murders. I think. That's what the wiki tells me anyway. Did you guys bring me a car with fresh tires? That was nice. Why does it keep switching back to the cut? The worst shot. What? 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 No! Why was my shotgun suddenly making cars explode in one hit? I've never seen that before. I did not drop a bomb on it. We're dying an awful lot today. No cars. But you know what? As soon as I get a car, we will not find the roads this open. Oh, we'll stay there. Stay there. So where is golf at? I guess I guess golf would be at the golf course then. Let's head there and see if we can shed this wanted level on the way. Or we'll die. So is golf like tennis in that you're kind of trapped in the game? Or can you walk around freely and kind of, you know, actually play golf? Have I seen the ray tracing stuff coming out of GDC? I have not. I've been in a mood to program lately. I have I have a bunch of stuff I'm thinking about and it's really hard to not begin programming cuz I need I'm writing on my Grand Theft Auto series. And uh that needs to get done. I think I have 3 weeks left to finish it. And so I really need to get cracking on that. And if I start programming, then it will not get done. So I haven't been uh, keeping up on programming stuff. In fact, somebody linked me a th something on procedural generation the other day. And... 
I started watching it and realized, no, this is making me want to program. So here's something I just decided I wanted to try. Don't mess with me while I'm rampaging. Oh, I forgot about the turnstiles. Oh, if I came down here with a with a motorcycle, could I get through that? I'm not so much a programming addict. I don't know. I binge on programming. I'll program for two months. And then I'm like, okay, no more programming. I'm done programming. Actually, the stuff I've been thinking of lately is... Um, Trying to trying to explore different ways of lo-fi um, settings, like they're doing this a lot in two D games, where it, they'll use old pixel art styles from like the old days, but then on top of that, <laughs> but on, then on top of that, they'll use stuff like shadows and whatever that that were not available when that kind of pixel art was relevant and new. And so, I, and that produces a look that was never possible before. It's, it's fresh and new. It's, it's, it's like shooting a movie in black and white, but then using a lot of like super high tech CG special effects. It's like this blend of new and old. And it produces kind of this funny aesthetic that I really enjoy. And you see it a lot in 2D games. And Strafe messed around with that. But I, I think there's there's a lot of interesting work you could do. Like making a shader to make it look like the game is running in 256 color mode with dithering. Like what would that even look like? That that might be... that uh, some A game that would otherwise look high-tech except you've dropped it down to, like, no colors and uses really old-school dithering techniques. So it would almost kind of have the, the color texture, the, the feel of an old adventure game with, you know, great big pixels being mixed together to try and make more colors than are available. That might be an interesting look. And I think, oh, I could throw something like that together, see what that looks like. That wouldn't take too long. But I know if I actually sat down and began doing that, there'd be no end to it. Uh, yeah, Kingdom is a great example of that. The one that stands out most to me, it's not out yet, but it's called The Last Night. N-I-G-H-T. Um, it's kind of like got this cyberpunk thing. It looks, you know, it's got 2D sprites, but it's got reflection effects and shadows and bloom lighting. Looks amazing. This tunnel is longer than I thought it was. I apologize for running down this tunnel. I thought this would be a quick way to get away from the police, but this was not quick. This whole game is absurdly detailed, yes. Don't call the cops. I only hit people who were wearing hats. They all it's legal. They were wearing hats. Oh, 
I don't have any notification. Um, yeah, so I did not see. Also, I just noticed that your name is Ilseroth. I just noticed that because the window I was using... To, uh, here's the thing. This window that I'm using is just the, the chat window that goes with my that goes with my particular Twitch page. And it uses a font so that capital I and lowercase l are absolutely identical. And then I see it on after afterwards, I watch the stream later and it uses a different font and I can tell that your name is capital I L S E R O T H. So I've been calling you Isseroth and leaving out one of the letters all this time. You're used to it. All right. Hurry up, Trev. Just get in the car. Nothing fancy. Yeah. We're good now. We're good. You've been using this tag since EverQuest 1. You've been using that name for a very long time. That name, is that name over, is that name 20 years old? Later I'll probably find out Invarial is actually named Olden Varial. Stupid font. I love this outdoor cafe. A little bit of furniture. No, it's not relevant to the story, but somebody probably spent a couple of days making this storefront. Why'd you take my picture, you weirdo? I, she was wearing a hat. Oh, honestly. These people have no respect for the natural order. Oh yeah, how annoying would that be if you're from a left side drive country I never thought of this before, but if you're from a left side drive country, it would drive you absolutely crazy. They should do that. They should set the next GTA game in a London analog and just let Americans go absolutely bonkers head on into traffic all the time. Okay, now, here's a philosophical question. Does a headset qualify as a hat? I don't think so, but asking the question made me $11. Right, right, I know there was a 2D version of GTA um, that was set in London. But yeah, I'd love to see one of the newer 3D ones. Damn it. You said it, Trev. That would be great. They could even make the main character like an American. Because of course they would. Uh, and that would be really cool. And then they could just like build that into the story. The fact that you drive like a maniac and you can't stop driving on the right side. Helmets or hats. I used to drive a stick. I did not enjoy. Made it too hard to eat and drive.
A stick is good if you want to enjoy driving. A stick sucks if all you want to do is get to work. Wow, they are really closing in. Let's see if I can sneak through these guys. If you watch the lower left, you can see the sight cones of the police as they close in on me. So will I get, can I get service? Okay, that did it. That got re changing clothes. You can shop there. She tells you to leave, but you don't have to leave. And all you have to do is change your clothes and they're not looking for you anymore. Parking in the middle of the lot. Yeah, it's a video game, man. I'm not going to, like, drive properly. The thing about playing a game like this is you become the most important person in the universe. Because the entire world exists for you. You can... The, this world exists just for me, to amuse me. So if I decide people aren't allowed to wear hats in my world, then I can stop them. And if I want to drive in oncoming traffic, I can do that. To be fair, he was going between lanes. That was his that was his fault. I thought that was a hat. Uh, Burnout Paradise um, remaster. I don't think it's coming to PC, is it? So it's not really on my radar. I mean, I have a PS4, but um, I don't normally stream from it. It's actually in the living room, and it's not hooked up to my setup here. Also, the Paradise City will be an insta- it's, Wait, I can't get it on Steam. I have to use Origin. That sucks. But I would still buy it if they stop Paradise City from playing all the friggin' time when you boot up the game. That was so annoying. I mean, I liked that song when I was 17. 30 years ago. That's almost a twofer. They had to get their money's worth for the huge amount they had to... That's what I assumed. They were like, look, we have, we have a real popular song from 25 years earlier. And we licensed it. Pay attention to how cool we are. And it's like, yay, you licensed a song that stopped being relevant a couple of decades ago. It's not that cool.
And I think the only way you could turn it off is if you turned off all the music in the game. And that was... Or it, there was something annoying about it. Either it was you could only turn it off by turning off all music. Or if you, it played even if you turned off all music. I forget what it was. But I remember it really drove me nuts when I was playing the game. That's what I was asking Triaden. I was asking earlier, is golf freeform or or does it is it like tennis where you're where you're stuck to the play area? This is really pretty. That hanging greenery and that overhead bridge. Golf is in no way freeform. That's too bad. I don't think there's ever been a freeform golf game, which seems like that'd be the best way to play to play video game golf is actually let you roam around, find your ball. You could have banter with friend characters, you could make it, you know, like NPC friends and you could make sort of do like they did for night at the inventory where you've got a golfing buddy that just has like a, um, a library of barks that they say based on different situations like you hit it you just hit it into the weeds and they're like ah don't worry about it <laughs> balls are cheap just get another one or you're not getting that one back. That would be such a more interesting, like my big complaint with golf is it always just teleports you around a place that's designed to be this incredible scenic vista. That's all one of the points of golfing is walk around, enjoy the scenery. And no, it's a teleporting game in video games. And I think that's the wrong way to handle it. that dog is she the owner of that dog I don't want to hit it I mean yes I'll murder somebody for wearing a hat but I'm I'm not gonna kill a dog I'm not some kind of monster <laughs> you swore to carry your clubs yes Although I wouldn't want uh, Bethesda to make this golf game I'm talking about. I do not think they would do it justice. <gasps> Let's follow this car chase. Let's see how this turns out. I've wanted to do this for a while. But we were never in a position to do it. Come on, you can do it. No, 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 don't hit me. If he hits me, he'll get out and shoot me to death. I've never seen a police chase end with uh, the bad guy getting away. So if he gets away, this will be a new one for me. I've seen them end in shootouts won by the bad guys and I've seen... Well, I suppose bad guys and good guys. Okay, I've seen the, the cops and the criminals prevail. So is that them? Yep. Okay, here's the shootout. We'll see who wins. Oh, not looking good for the criminals. Oh. There's only one. I've seen there be three of them. <laughs> Write that in your police report. Oh, that even left a bloody smear.
Are you gonna drive off without your partner? No, okay. You guys aren't gonna do anything about this dead body? Or this bullet ridden car you chased around this? Okay. All right. Not my place to tell you how to do your jobs. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen, uh... <gasps> In previous games, the EMTs would show up and would revive somebody. In this game, they seem to just stare at the body. Yes! The EMT is gonna kick her, is kick his ass. And then call him an ambulance, I guess? Wow. Yep, just stare at the body on the ground, then pull a random motorist out of their car, kick their ass. You know, there are more injured people here now than when you showed up, you idiots! In previous games, the EMTs would revive people. Wow. So I think that's the observatory. Hard to see. My sniper rifle scope is apparently blurry. Maybe I need to clean it off. The draw distance in this game is ridiculous. And this game is so big and so filled with content. Oh yeah, that that seems like a no-brainer as a VR golf game. Why doesn't that exist yet? I mean, if you're going to teleport from place to place, VR is definitely the medium for it. Like there's a binko sign right here. Oh, and the binko is right. This is a fake binko. A bogus binko. Binko is where you go to buy clothes. That's where I bought this dress. But, oh, you know what? We need sticky bombs. Where did I get armor? Huh, why do I have armor? I haven't bought any. Have I? <laughs> the dress actually came with body armor. Miss me! 
That's the secret. It's like, uh, it's like stripper armor that you see in RPGs where it's like gives you all that protection when it's just a bikini. All this time, Trevor's been wearing guy clothes when the secret is evidently to wear ladies' clothes, which are made of adamantium. These guys are durable. Citizens arrest. Kind of. <laughs> I am Batman. Ah, five hundred dollars for Trevor. Oh, the frustrating thing is, um, I want to go inside this binko. No, 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 no. Well, that's what it looks like when Trevor gives the money back. I wanted to keep the money. Because he's Trevor. Uh, okay. I mean, whatever, right? Doubt it's easy. Pump and run gymnasium. All right. Homeopathy for armor. <laughs> That's the best description yet. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, liquor hole. I get it. I get it, game. I get it. Honestly, this game can be so immature any, sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to punch this guy for wearing a hat. Because unlike this video game, I am sane and mature. Come on, Trevor, get up, get up, get up. And the helmet comes off. Justice is served. Oh, my eyes hurt. Hey now, buddy. Calm down. Hello. Hello. I want to itch my eyes really bad, but I know that'll just make them worse. That's actually a health of problem I've been having lately. That's a hat. I thought that was just a dumb haircut, but no, that is definitely a hat. No, in in Vario, we 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 proved that that headphones are not hats. So what should we play next time? We should play a real video game next time. What's up, citizens? How's it going? Any of you seen anybody wearing hats? Just here for the community. Honey pop. I, I'm definitely not playing that game again. On stream or off. The game makes me uncomfortable. It's a good match three though. I saw somebody made a clone of it on Steam. I went looking for match three games. And they were like, what made the honey pop so good? Ah, uh, it was the sexy content. And so it's even more, it was, I forget what the game was called, but it was even more built up, oh, I thought it was a hat, even more built around the idea of chicks. What? You said I, something? 
about me? Something disparaging? Well, that's what you get. <laughs> I should do coding for my next stream. That's... No, that I was pushing the opposite direction. Trevor did that one. No hat for you. Oh. Men without hats. Come on, Trevor. You're hitting everybody but the people with the hats. What are you trying to do here? I like how every time that every time I knock somebody's hat off um, the police instantly know where I they get like an update look look the bottom left square begins flashing which means they're they know where I am again and then it stops I like when the hat goes straight up in the air. That's just, that makes me super happy. I mean, that's cartoonish. It makes no sense. Really? You're just going to drive down the sidewalk to get to me. I'm doing your job for you. How is it what I'm doing illegal, but wearing that hat isn't? Come on, Trevor. What are you doing? Thank you. Oh. Laws in this country make no sense. We've been, we've been streaming for a while now. Ironically, I have to stop playing GTA 5 so I can write about GTA 5. You fucking asshole. <laughs> he was so busy flipping me off, he went for face first into a wall. That's amazing. Also, getting run over by a car did not knock off his hat. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, a PC game. I mean, I have a PS4, but it's not... And I even have uh, the equipment to hook it up to my streaming setup. But it's in the living room, and, you know... I've got... I've got a lot of games on Steam. It seems like we should stick with one of those. I do like that burning tire like that for long enough will pop them. Although now I need a new car. Let's wrap up the stream. Let's wrap this up. This was fun, although I'm disappointed we didn't get to talk about Nier. Um, when I post this on Sunday, by then I'll have picked the next game. I'll, put, I, I'll upload this to um, YouTube for Sunday. In case you missed it. Like, but then you wouldn't be watching it now, so who am I talking to? Anyway. Oh. Stream your PS4 to your PC. Oh, I will check that out in Vario. 
That is just what I want. In fact, that would let me play Horizon Zero Dawn, which I still haven't gotten around to. All right, thanks for stopping by, everybody. Um, yeah, have a good night. See ya.